Let me tell you about what I'm doing. I run a program that I created at Rutgers called Road to Wall Street, focused on helping get kids jobs on Wall Street, but it starts out with internships on Wall Street. One of the things that I noticed was the difference between myself and the people that worked on Wall Street wasn't really that significant. They weren't like smarter or harder working. What the difference was, they had a pedigree, I didn't. They had an established network that I did not have. Therefore, if they had a problem or they had an issue, boom, they could just talk to a bunch of people in their network and they're good to go. My calling is making sure that nobody feels that loneliness, that confusion uh, because they didn't go to an Ivy League school or they didn't grow up in the right family or they didn't have the right connections and contacts. Ultimately, Road to Wall Street is focused on preparing students to first get internships and then eventually to turn those internships into full-time job opportunities. And we're talking about top-notch firms, top-notch jobs, typically investment banking jobs, we're talking about Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, you know, private equity. This is something that is relevant for anybody that wants to work on Wall Street. What if you're in Idaho, you know, and you want to work on Wall Street? Like, where do you begin? Uh, there's probably not an extensive network of people at like the University of Idaho or Boise State that are on Wall Street. So it's pretty difficult. It's like the same kind of uh, scenario. There's basically three pillars, financial modeling, which is the core skill set. And basically what a financial model is, is taking the company's financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement. From that, creating a projections model, which is basically predicting what the future is going to look like for the company. And from that, creating a valuation. So once you have that valuation, you can figure out what is the company worth? The whole idea is like price is what you pay, value is what you get. So not only are you building a financial model, you're learning finance, you're learning accounting, you're learning financial statement analysis, you're understanding kind of how all of these pieces fit together. From there, it's like, okay, cool, I got the skill set, I understand this stuff. Now, you need to basically tell the world. One of the big challenges that people have is they want these very high paying, lucrative, uh, difficult to get jobs, and they approach it in the completely wrong way. They go onto like the company website and they apply on there. You'd probably have a better chance of taking your resume and turning it into a paper airplane and opening up your bedroom window and just like sailing it out there. And then at least maybe somebody will pick it up on the street and you're like, okay, at least I know someone's gonna pick this up. But when it goes into like the black hole in the company website, it's like adios. Once you start getting out there and building a network, which is a whole skill in and of itself, I know a lot of people have like issues talking to people that they don't know um and that's a whole process so anything that you have in common you said you like football and baseball well guess what if you find other people who either like or played football or baseball instantaneous connection the more connections and commonalities the easier it's going to be to get along with someone the last piece is interviewing the best jobs are typically not going to be advertised so if goldman sachs is looking for a ceo they're not going to advertise it on linkedin what they're going to do is work through their internal network and they're going to go find viable candidates it's the same thing with these highly coveted jobs and they're reaching out directly to somebody that they know like and trust and say hey you produce high quality people let me know if you have somebody that's available and then there's the process of actually doing the interview the biggest mistake that i see people make when it comes to interviewing is they memorize a bunch of stuff and then they go to regurgitate it and that works well in school in the real world you're you're presented basically with unique questions that have unique solutions and if it was as easy as like memorization then no one would ever ask you to do it because they'd be like yeah i already know the answer it's blah i memorized it i've developed a system called the road to wall street where i go through each of those three pieces it's a tried and true system we have 100 percent placement rate over the last two years since inception 98 percent placement rate it's something that i've like constantly tweaked and tinkered with to develop the system that it is today i think the opportunity that is available for you from an internship perspective is you would be able to get exposure to all these different things. And then I think also through that process, you would really get a better sense of what you truly like 
and what you might want to do within finance. It's kind of twofold. You're getting exposure to like business finance, Wall Street, uh, while also dealing with like the operations of an actual business, which would be the road to Wall Street. And that's the beauty of this program. It's not, you know, like me being the puppet master. It's really all of the people who've come through the program. That's now our Ivy League network. Let's say you went to Rutgers and let's say you weren't in Road to Wall Street. I can't sell you any of like the online stuff. But if you're in Idaho or Wyoming or Kentucky, you have two options. You could either come to Rutgers, learn from me directly for three years. You got me and my team. Or you're like, dude, I'm not going to Rutgers. I'm going to Western Kentucky. It's like, all right, well, guess what? I've got this huge program for you. You go through the program, you follow all the steps. And if your desire is to get, you know, a big, nice, fat check, high ticket job that's difficult to get on Wall Street, it's the best opportunity that you have, no question. I'm super excited that you get to have an experience that I only wish I could have had, you know, when I was your age. I mean, this is like, this is nuts because mm -hmm. we're building something that's legit and it's proven. So I'm just super stoked that like I could bring people along for the ride, you know? <laughs>